Okay, so what we have here is a pretty bog standard um, dual thief circuit. So what we've got happening here is our bar out ring, and we've got our bifurcated uh, coil wound around it. The two ends are taken off and joined off each opposite coil, and the two free ends, one goes through 1K resistor to the base of this transistor, and the other goes through to the collector, and the bridge in between the collector and the emitter is uh, an LED that then goes to the battery. And that's how pretty much everybody's wiring it up. There is one alternative, and that's instead of having these two coil lens joined directly, you can move the 1K resistor to between those two. Uh, and that's what I've chosen to do. So if you remember my early video, when I wound this thing, there is my little bifiler Tesla pancake coil, and it's joined up in the same way as the um, dual thief circuit. That is, the inner and outer ends have been joined together across, a, in my variation, a 1K resistor, which is right there. And then that's going to the battery. And then here we go, our LED and our little transistor there, joining them up. And if we bring our little 1.5 volt battery in there, so you can see that. There we go. Yep, there we go. And just touch that on there. And there we go, our LED is lighting up. Now, I think that's really quite cool, actually, because uh, instead of using a ferrite core toroid ring, what we're doing here is using a little two-inch bifiler coil. Uh, and the one thing we do know about that coil now is that it's resonating. So uh, there's a dual thief based on a Tesla pancake coil. Uh, I'm going to play around with this some more. I think it's really cool.